Hey, good morning, everyone. Well, we're here in Ontario with Pro Staffer Mike Gate and Captain Lee Hosh. We took a few days off. We've got some beautiful weather here. It's the end of May, and it's lake trout season here on Whitefish Bay of Lake of the Woods. So what we're doing today is we're using just regular walleye tackle, pretty much uh, medium weight rods. Uh, I've got mine with suffix 832 braid with just a little bit of uh, suffix fluorocarbon, about a four foot liter. I go down to a barrel swivel, and on the end, I've got just a bullet jig from Kalins with one of these seismic grubs on the end. And this is the smaller, the four inch seismic grub. I like the white red pearl look. It looks white, but when you get it in the water, it's got a red hue to it. And all we're doing is we're jigging in 30 to 40 feet of water for these lake trout. So we're gonna see if we can put a few of these lake trout in the boat here on Whitefish Bay on Lake of the Woods, Ontario. What do you got going up there? We got ourselves a lake trout. <laughs> and it's a big one. Is that? Yeah. Oh, you just taking a line. <laughs> I'm going to get out of your way and let you fight a mic, and when you're ready to net, you let me know, okay? For sure. Trying to me. Made a foot and lost ten. <clears throat> this is when it gets fun. I mean, you never know what you're going to catch. I mean, they could. There's, there's forty pound fish in here. And to catch them on light tackle, this is basically just my walleye rod. So. We're having fun now. We finally got a break in the weather. Look at this beautiful day. So we decided we're gonna come up to Whitefish Bay on Lake of the Woods and uh, see if we can catch a lake trout. Oh, I got bubbles. And we got a lake trout on. So there's the swivel. Oh, I side hooked him, but he's a beauty. Look at him. Oh, that's why he's giving me so much grief. In the net he goes. All right. Yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome. Fish. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Beautiful Lake of the Woods Lake Trout. And he's side hooked. <laughs> I'll take it. <laughs> no wonder it felt like pulling a dump truck through the water, huh? You can see how nice that hook come out of there. We're fishing barbless hooks up here today. Um, and it's just the Kalen's jerk minnow. It's got the uh, pearl color on the top, but it's just uh, those things are the go-to. They it catch works. everything. Yeah, they really do. Whether it's walleyes or lake trout, <laughs> lake it doesn't, trout matter. doesn't matter. That's right. That's awesome. It's a beauty. Beautiful fish. That's what man. we're looking for, man. Congratulations. Great catch. Perfect. All right. Good deal. Well, we'll get them down. We'll get another one. You betcha. All right. Oh, yeah, I'm seeing them on the graph. Yeah, that is a big fish right there. Been up here for a couple of days, fishing on Lake of the Woods. Uh, opening weekend of their walleye season, uh, third weekend in May. Uh, the last two days, uh, really Saturday was, was quite windy and cold. Uh, made fishing a little difficult finding the spots. We did manage uh, some some good catches of some nice fish. Uh, had to work a little hard for them though. Yesterday, uh, same thing, more of that northeast wind. It seems uh, everything cooled down. Uh, got a little bit better uh, yesterday, especially in the afternoon, but today, God, just a gorgeous, gorgeous day up here in Lake of the Woods. 
Uh, the winds have, have died considerably. Sun's out, it's warm out. Uh, big change from the last couple of days. Fish! <laughs> we got electro out here again, Mike, I think. Awesome. Oh yeah. Has he bubbled yet? Oh, he's right there. Oh, he's right there. Yep. Oh, now he's going down. Oh. <laughs> Man, did he smack that. Hounded you. Yep. He smacked that. Man, he liked what that jerk minnow. What do you got going one. on here, Lee? Nice lake trout. Nice lake trout. Um, here come the bubbles. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that clear water, huh? <laughs> oh, beautiful. Ready? Ooh, no, he wasn't. <laughs> Just get him. Oh, look at that. Beauty. There we go. There we go. <laughs> nice scoop. There you are. All right. Look at that, right in the right in the roof of the mouth. You're right, Mike, that jerk minnow. Mine's got the little bit of glitter on it. And man, when he smacked it. Look at that, such an easy hook release. What a beautiful fish. It's another one for the kettle. It's a nice size eater. Perfect size eater. I did this years ago a couple of times on Lake Michigan where we actually went down onto a sand flat where the lake trout were stacked up and tried jigging them. We had frozen smelt we were using. I didn't know what to use. We took downrigger poles with that heavy <laughs> uh, monofilament line. <laughs> you know, you'd go to set the hook and you couldn't drive the hook in them. They were down 60, 70 feet down. Right. Rod tip would bend down. We'd fight the fish almost all the way to the surface. We got a couple, but most of them would get off. That's what's kind of fun about this. You know, Mike pointed out with this light tackle, being able to fight these fish, you know, nine, 10, 12, 15 pound fish on light tackle. Wow. What a ton of fun, huh? Well, this, this that Suffix 832 braid is the, it, that's the ticket right there. That's, really that's the key in, to be able to do this and feel everything. Now, I've noticed you've been using that a lot on the charter boat on Lake Michigan as well. I mean. Every pole. <laughs> that, that, it, it's the best, that's the best line I've ever used. <laughs> I tell you, just marked them on the graph, glued right to the bottom, and wham, just like that. I think I got this one in the mouth. Another good one. Perfect. <laughs> they are chowing on this five inch jerk minnow, man. Give me a holler when you get close. On this light tackle, I mean, this, this is fun. <laughs> He's still going right to the bottom. He won't grab there now. He's, he's there. Well, and you called that one perfectly. You said there's one right on the bottom yeah. on the graph, and next thing you know, he's on. All right, Mike, I'm going to pull up and come up there. And yeah, he's coming closer now. Get the net. I haven't got the barrel swivel yet, but he's not too far away. And there he goes again. <laughs> well, I'll go back he must to have seen you. <laughs> is this suffix 832 down that barrel swivel yeah. and just uh, you know three four foot lead 
There you go. See them starting to come up there. I'm bubbles. Step right in. Yep, there's the good old telltale bubbles, right? Here he comes, another really good oh, fish. Oh, bigger. In the net he goes. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at that. Look at it. Another beautiful fish. Beauty. Settle him down. Settle here. him down a little bit. Yeah, he's got the other one by a couple pounds. Get right in there. I'm gonna get out of your way. Perfect. Yeah, these things are inhaling that jerk minnow. It's crazy. But yeah, he's a beauty. Look at he's right in the got him right on the tip of the mouth. He's all tangled up. There we go. And that's it, right there. That's two fish in ten minutes. And this one's a beauty. Look at that fish. He's gonna go back and he's gonna get bigger for us for the winter fishing. But yeah, that's what we're doing. Lake trout fishing, Whitefish Bay. 32 feet's the magic number. As soon as we hit 32 feet, the fish were there. One, I don't think it's quite as big. Oh, you get up. Oh, I'm hooked up too. <laughs> wow. <laughs> we got a double so going, Lee. <laughs> what yep. have you got going over there? Mine came off. Mine didn't. <laughs> <laughs> In fact, he's taking a little line, so. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's got the head shake. Uh, Mike, we might have to. <laughs> I don't know how much suffix A32 I've got on this one. <laughs> Look at it, just take and line. <laughs> oh, you're right. We just hit that 32 foot mark and, and fish on the graph and fish on the poles immediately. Oh, well, I see him coming. Oh, there he's coming. Boy. You got a nice one. Yep. And there's there's at, some bubbles. There's the bubbles. All right, Mike, I'm going to try to bring him to you there. Yeah. Lots of time. Right in the bottom there. Ah, in the net he goes. <laughs> awesome job, man. Great. Look at that. Beautiful fish. Perfect. He was hooked right in the bottom lip. I saw him coming up there. And well, uh, and that's the thing. They're so aggressive when they strike. You never know where they're going to be hooked. That's exactly right. Yeah, you never do. Well, we saw the first one today that you actually caught in the side. Yeah, and, exactly. You know, I think he probably made a swipe at it. And that's probably why. But look at that beautiful fish. I tell you what, if you have never come to Lake of the Woods, Whitefish Bay, and fish for these beauties, you've got to do it. You know, we come up here every year and we get a chance to do some, some open water shows and some ice shows with pro staff from Mike Gate at Sunset Cove Resort. Sunset country here in Ontario, beautiful place, great place to come. All of Mike and Aaron's information is right on the screen. If you're interested in coming to Sunset Cove Resort, look them up. It's this kind of stuff that makes it all worthwhile. Great, great fish. Wow. So I've got to be honest, <laughs> after watching these guys catch fish after fish, I took my seismic shad off, I put a seismic grub on. I didn't follow them and put one of the seismic minnows, but I did something a little bit different. We hit 32 feet and right away this fish hit. Incredible. Look at that. <laughs> So another really neat part about this part of Lake of the Woods is it's um, like there's it's an ancient travel route for uh, you know for the Native Americans they come through here and they uh, there's several spots all through Lake of the Woods where you've got these uh, um, hieroglyphs. Um, some people say they're up to a thousand years old. Uh, they use these from what I understand is on these travel routes. There's another place just down south is they just you know kind of marked as where they're going. Um, I guess in a way kind of like the Anukshuks up north. These paintings are all over the place. They're really neat to look at and you know just imagine being here a thousand years ago and climbing up on that rock and, and leaving your mark and here we are hundreds of years later being able to see it still. So pretty cool stuff. Just another thing you can see in Ontario sunset country. Uh, there's, uh, there's never a shortage of stuff to do or even just exploring. So lots of good stuff. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Mission Crossbows, and HHA Sports. 
Hey everyone, welcome back. Next, we head to Northern Manitoba with pros Anna and Nicole. They're joining guide John Walters out on the water where they're gonna be rigging for walleyes. Now, rigging using bottom bouncers is not a new technique for most walleye fishermen, but what John uses for bait, well, it might be just a little bit unusual. So we're just heading out this afternoon. We're gonna go out and do an, a late afternoon, evening uh, walleye fish. And we're using bottom bouncers and uh, spinner harnesses. And what we're gonna use for bait is we're gonna actually be using beef heart. I'm just cutting up some beef heart now. And we're gonna use strips of beef heart and we actually slice the beef heart and then we wind up cutting it with scissors just to mimic a night crawler. Uh, the beef heart, it stays on your hook a lot longer than a night crawler uh, uh, would. If you got a lot of perch in the water, it's nip, 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 nip. That night crawler is gone. The beef heart, one piece of beef heart can last you an entire afternoon. So there's an alternative to using, if you're uh, a night crawler uh, a fisherman, uh, the beef heart works really well, guys. Little guy? He's a pike. Oh, he's one. It's a monster. <laughs> he's gone. Oh. That's a nice one. Thanks. What a good walleye, hey? Got, got your blood pumping though, right? It did get my blood pumping. It felt good. This wrong species. The next one. Next one. Oh, this feels like That's a big mark. Oh, it's not. It's a pike. That's not big mark. <laughs> oh. I was like, why is it running so high? Almost. Oh. <laughs> we are on high alert right now because we know that there are big walleye in this area. So any bite that we're getting, so close. <laughs> I thought for sure. We're a little excitable. Get this little teeny, teeny tiny guy back. See him for another day and hopefully get big like the ones we caught earlier. <laughs> Too much fun. Well, that? Yes, one more pass. I gotta cut another strip of uh, beef heart here. I thought you had another. Oh, hit me right off. Look at that. Dang it. <sighs> They're picking us off, but we're going to get them. What do you think, girls? Should we do one more pass? One yeah. more pass. All right. Let's get them. Oh, that feels like a nice fish. I saw him on the graph, and then I decided to let a little bit of line out. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Yes! Oh, that's a nice walleye. Oh, that's a nice walleye. Oh, that's nice walleye. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Anna! Oh, that's great. I saw him, I just happened to look at the graph, and I was like, oh, there's a fish just right on the bottom there. Yes. And oh, look at that, walleye. he unhooked himself already. Perfect. Oh, my goodness. Nice fish. Oh, yeah. Let's get some more. <laughs> that is a Manitoba walleye. Look at how beautiful the gold is on that. Absolutely beautiful. All right, let's take a quick picture and send this guy back to the depths. Let's get this beautiful fish back in the water where she belongs. The walleye bite is turning on here at Baker's Narrow Lodge. Goes. Ooh, really fast there at the bend. Let's get some more. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by 
Mission by Matthews, and Vortex Optics. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to today's show. You know, I know this coronavirus pandemic has us all feeling a little bit cooped up these days, but hopefully we'll be back out enjoying the outdoors soon. Until then, get out, grab some fresh air and sunshine, and above all, be safe. And we hope that you'll join us again here next week when we'll bring you more great hunting and fishing action from around the U.S., around Canada, and around the world, right here on Outdoor Bound TV. Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Real Deal Mineral and Mountain Dew. Are we going fishing today? Come on, girls. Like, what's going on? We, oh, we got to get our we got to get our filters right. Oh, there I am. <laughs> This filter's amazing. That's you can't do it when you're, it. you can't do it when people are looking. Stop it! Outdoor Bound TV is brought to you by Suffix and BMC Hooks.